Welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. And today, today we're going to talk about the 10 drinks to avoid if you're on a weight loss journey and why. You may be surprised at some of these. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Your bell notification is turned on because I upload a new video every Tuesday and Thursday. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite healthy things are also down in that description box. So let's talk about the 10 drinks to avoid if you're on a weight loss journey and why. If you're trying to shed fat, especially belly fat and visceral fat, that unhealthy fat around your organs, there's some drinks out there that honestly should be avoided or consumed in very, very small dose, very, very small amounts in extreme moderation. These particular drinks are essentially empty calories and are drinks that are not only going to help you prevent you from losing weight, but may actually lead to weight gain. Let's jump right in to number one, which is going to be blended coffee drinks. Now, if you are someone that makes your own blended coffee at home, that's a little bit different. I'm talking about blended coffee drinks that you buy at your local coffee shop. These are empty, empty calories and are loaded with sugar. There are several blended coffee drinks at Starbucks alone that have over 50 to 100 grams of sugar, which is two, three, four times the amount you should be consuming in a day. And these are strictly, strictly empty calories. The only benefit of these is that little bit of caffeine that you get from the coffee. Black coffee is about five calories per serving where a 16 ounce blended drink from your local Starbucks, Dunkin' coffee shop is going to be anywhere from about 350 to 450 calories. And like I said, empty calories. If you're a big blended coffee drinker, again, make it at home, make a healthier version, know exactly what's going in there and make sure that you're getting maybe even some protein, add a scoop of protein powder, blend that up with your favorite coffee components. Number two, soft drinks. This is another thing that's absolutely loaded with empty calories and sugar. High sugar content in soda actually raises your insulin levels and spikes your blood sugar. Plus they contain high fructose corn syrup and caramel coloring, which is a carcinogen. The problem with sugary sodas is that they raise your blood sugar, thus prompting your body to pull water from its cells to dilute it. This makes you even thirstier, which can prompt you to drink more soda. And before you know it, you've consumed hundreds of calories that have no nutritional value and can can quickly lead to weight gain. Now you might be thinking, well, I don't drink regular soda. I drink diet. Diet soda is just as bad for weight loss. It contains aspartame, which is an unhealthy sugar substitute. And again, caramel coloring with it, which is a carcinogen. Now you're avoiding all of the empty calories, but diet soda actually makes you crave sugar, which can again lead you to not being successful on your weight loss journey. Number three is fruit juice. Now this might be kind of surprising. You might be thinking, how is fruit juice bad? It can appear healthy, but all of the fiber that's found naturally occurring from nature and fruit is stripped when making it into fruit juice and a, sh and a lot of sugar is added. It can actually, again, spike your blood sugar levels and sabotage your weight loss efforts. It's misleading to believe that fruit juice helps you lose weight and stay healthy because it still contains sugar. The fiber that's present in whole fruits that keeps you full and control your calorie intake is not present in fruit juice and can cause you to consume a large amount of sugar and calories in a short amount of time. This can make it harder to lose belly fat. So avoid juices altogether. Again, make it at home. Squeeze fresh oranges and make your fresh homemade orange juice. Get a juicer so you can put in fruits and vegetables that and still get the fiber and not the added sugar that comes in packaged fruit juice. Number four, maybe a little disappointing, and that's going to be beer. The excess calories from alcohol can also can actually cause you to have fat accumulation. Alcohol in general is empty calories. It immediately turns to sugar entering your body. It's a source of carbohydrates and also alcohol lowers your inhibition. So we generally eat foods we normally don't eat when we're consuming alcohol, beer included. Beer contains wheat, which makes it high in calories. Alcohol in general alters the metabolism in a way that prompts the body to store its calories as fat in the midsection. That's where the term beer belly comes from. Alcohol is also inflammatory and chronic inflammation is a primary driver of the accumulation of visceral fat. And again, visceral fat is that unhealthy fat around your organs, the fat that we don't want on our body. And that leads me into number five, which is also going to be a little disappointing, and that's going to be cocktails in general. You'll see a theme here that alcohol is something you should really avoid during a weight loss journey. Cocktails are extremely, extremely, extremely 
calorie dense. And even if you're thinking, and I know that you're thinking, well, I just do a shot of alcohol and diet soda. Again, diet soda contributes to weight gain and alcohol in general stunts weight loss. Cocktails contain alcohol, which is a huge nemesis of weight loss. However, the real culprit when it comes to cocktails is the mixers. Cocktails also often have sodas, fruit juice, and syrup syrups added to make the spirits more enjoyable. However, combining these caloric ingredients, high in refined inflammatory sugars and alcohol makes a cocktail of its own a cocktail for visceral fat gain. So again, if you're on a weight loss journey and you can avoid alcohol or consume it in extreme moderation, this is really going to help you not only lose weight overall, but help you prevent the accumulation of that unhealthy heart damaging visceral fat. Number six may be a bit of a surprise as well, and this is going to be smoothies. Now again, we're not talking about smoothies you prepare at home. I prepare smoothies all the time, typically protein shakes, protein smoothies. We're talking smoothies you either buy at a smoothie shop, places like Starbucks, Jamba Juice, or even those pre-made packaged smoothies. These often contain way more calories and way more sugar than you would ever expect. Smoothies, while they can be full of healthy ingredients like fruit and leafy greens, can also be loaded with sugar and lack protein unless it's intentionally added. This can trigger your hunger sooner than you should and cause overeating later on, which can again cause fat gain to creep up on you. So uh, smoothies, because the fiber is typically stripped from them as well, especially pre-made smoothies, smoothie shop smoothies, it's not going to keep you full for very long. And it kind of veers on the line of empty liquid calories. So again, avoid the smoothie shops and make it at home. Add a scoop of protein. That's really going to bump up the nutritional value. Number seven is sports drinks, Powerade, Gatorade, and the like. Despite their association with athletic performance and bringing you all the electrolytes you burn during exercise, sports drinks are typically loaded with sugar. And even the sugar-free and zero sugar ones have a lot of artificial ingredients and sweeteners. Unless you regularly engage in very, very, very intense exercise, you don't need sports drinks. Sports drinks are formulated specifically to deliver athletes sugar and electrolytes quickly to fuel their intense exercise. However, many people mistakenly believe drinking them during their leisure time is harmless. Sports dietitians don't recommend that athletes have sports drinks unless they exercise for more than an hour because of the sugar content. Even though the fruity hydrating flavors taste great, an average sports drink contains about 220 calories without any nutrients and plenty of of added sugar. Even the zero sugar sugar freeze should be avoided unless you are exercising intensely for an hour or more. Now number eight may not be as surprising as some of the other ones and these are going to be and this is going to be milkshakes. We love a good milkshake. High sugar and saturated fat in milkshakes is a recipe for weight loss disaster. Milkshakes are typically made with full fat ice cream, which is loaded with saturated fat. Not only can the combination of sugar and saturated fat increase the risk of heart disease, but both inflammatory compounds can quickly increase visceral fat storage in the body. You're better off having a single scoop of ice cream than having a milkshake. You're controlling the portion and you're not mixing, you're not having so much at once. Milkshakes are typically several scoops of ice cream to make that big delicious milkshake. So milkshakes while on a weight loss journey, even post weight loss journey should be consumed in extreme moderation. Number nine are slushies. You know, the good old slushie you buy at your local 7-Eleven. They're definitely refreshing, but they're loaded with added sugar. And again, that leads to insulin spikes and the storage of belly fat. Slushies are essentially finely crushed ice with added sugar and artificial colors. If you've ever let one last long enough to see it melt completely, it tends to look like syrup in a styrofoam cup. Avoid the excess calories and and the brain freeze by passing on these drinks. Not only is the so much added sugar detrimental to weight loss, you're also consuming a lot of artificial flavors and some artificial colors that are really detrimental to your health. And number 10, this may disappoint a few people as well, and this is energy drinks. With their high caffeine content, typically much higher than any coffee, coffee beverage, and their high content of sugar, energy drinks are a recipe for disaster. Some energy drinks contain added sugar and excess calories, but many contain artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners may have the potential to trick the body into thinking it's receiving sugar when it isn't. In turn, this can trigger your brain to seek out the sugar it was expecting, thus causing you to overeat and making losing belly fat more difficult. So even if you are a zero sugar, no sugar, sugar-free energy drink drinker, there's still a lot of detrimental properties in these. Similar to diet soda. Diet soda, diet energy drinks aren't any better than the full sugar ones, with the exception of they're not being so 
so much added sugar and calories. Try to avoid energy drinks. They're not good for you and they're loaded with so many things that cause a lot of health issues and health consequences, not to mention can lead to actual weight gain instead of weight loss. So those are the 10 drinks to avoid or have in very, very, very small quantities during and after a weight loss journey. Let me know down below what are your thoughts on these 10 drinks and do you consume any of these and this video has made you rethink that. Also let us know if you have any other drinks that you try to avoid or consume in small amounts during your weight loss journey. And if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, give it a big huge thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those personalized macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching to ask questions, talk with me directly or for accountability. Links and discounts to my favorite healthy things are also down below for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.